the month before Christmas, and all through the house, not a fangirl was stirring, not even her blouse. But two shawls were writing their letters with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Dear Santa, this Christmas I would like you to bring me Sonny's dick in a box. It would make me very happy to see his dick staring back at me for Christmas. Love, Victoria. Dear Santa, this year for Christmas, I would like you to give me a big box. And inside that big box, I would like shiny tea to pop out, wearing absolutely nothing but guy liner. Lots of guy liner and blue nipple tassels, but nothing else. And I would like him to give me a lap dance. Thank you very much, Santa. Love, Amber. The showels were waiting all snug in their beds, with visions of shiny dancing in their heads. And Santa replied with a pen in his hands, about to destroy two showels' dreamlands. Dear Victoria, I cannot grant that request to you. I know you are not a naughty child, and only naughty children ask for such vulgar presents for Christmas. If you write me another letter, I will be glad to give you another present for Christmas. Love, Santa. Dear Amber, what is a nipple tassel? I hope it's not what I think it is. Love, Santa. Inside of their hearts there arose such a clatter. They were quick to reply to see what was the matter. Dear Santa, please send me Anu's dick in a box or I will show you how naughty this little girl can be. Love, Victoria. Dear Santa, look, I don't really care if you send Key with or without the nipple tassels. Just send me Key from Shiny naked in a box. You fat man, but there is going to be hell to pay. Love, Amber. Afraid of these fangirls who ticked like time bombs, Santa went to set things right from those two who were so wrong. Dear Victoria, I cannot give you that either. You have proven that you are a very naughty child, and naughty children only get coal. This coal will not resemble Anu or Anu's dick. You will never meet Anu in your life, so give up. Sincerely, Santa. Dear Amber, I am sorry to say that you have been very bad this year and I cannot grant that request. I am going to have to put you on the naughty list. I have also notified Shiny Security. They know you. Sincerely, Santa. The news Santa gave was a terrible blow and the showers didn't want Shiny to know. Oh, what would their beautiful idols think of a restraining order and a personal shrink? But those fangirls were so desperate and quick that they threatened and pleaded on the replies to St. Nick. <laughs> Dear Santa, why would you say that to me? I was my first person. I'm just my person. We belong together. I hope you're loving your butt with this giant bear cock. Love, Victoria. <laughs> Dear Santa, I can't believe you would do that. Now they'll know when I'm coming for him. I've lost all the elements of the song. You fat bastard! I'm gonna eat your fucking hand. <laughs> Their anger it came, and they whispered and threatened and called Santa mean names. Dear Santa, I haven't heard from you in a while. I know you got my letter. You know, we have a little problem here. See, Anu's dick is still in Korea, and I'm in Canada, and you're at the North Pole. Do you see the problem? If Anu's dick is not in a box, and I'm under my tree by Christmas Eve, there's going to be a little problem here, see? I hope you regret my request, or else! Love, Victoria. 
Dear Santa, it's been weeks since I heard from you. Where are you, huh? Where are you? I know where you are. You're up in that North Pole. You're up in the North Pole. Fucking your wife and drinking with your elves. I know you're up there. You don't leave. You don't go anywhere. You don't leave till November 24th, because that's Christmas Eve and that's where you go. It's the only time you go out once a year. Yeah? Uh-huh. Where are you doing? Vacationing in Hawaii? I know you're not. You're up there. You like the cold anyway. You don't have any shorts to wear on a beach. Yeah, I know where you are. I know where you sleep, Santa. I'm gonna come there and I'm gonna find you. And I'm gonna do something so bad, you're gonna make yourself wish you'd give me key and his nipple tassels and my box. I just wanted to laugh, him, man. You don't understand. Wanted a lap dance, but no, you can give me a lap dance. And now, Santa, you're gonna pay. <laughs> and they rushed to the North Pole to fulfill their promise of killing and eating and overall violence. They sprang to his sleigh and ran over the elves, killed his claws, and kidnapped Santa themselves. But I heard them exclaim as they drove out of sight. Oh, bring us to shiny or the fat man dies tonight. Ah! <laughs>